Hi, welcome to my second episode of the Guide on Military Units. Today I will focus on cavalry, melee cavalry and charge. So starting with the melee cavalry, my number one unit is the Teutonic Knights. It's a mercenary unit and it has a combined attack defense score of 231, which is the highest, with an attack of 131, also the highest, and a good defense of 100. Mobility 11, like any other unit. Also, as a reminder, every army type is best against a certain one. Melee cavalry is best against the range cavalry. All of them are the same. The advantage of the Tony Knights is also a 40% uh, extra bonus in charge and also damage of 5% a nearby units. That's very useful. So the Teutonic Knight is a special unit that multiplies the damage of an elite general. I don't remember exactly which one. You check my general guide. Number two, War Elephants. Score of 227, so slightly below the Teutonic Knight, with also an attack slightly below, uh, 127. The issue of the war elephant is the mobility, only eight, so very slow, because they are slow, slower than horses, of course. He has a slightly also lower bonus charge, but the big plus of the war elephant is the impact on the enemy morale. It lowers the morale of 15 points after a charge. So it's very convenient to use them first to weaken the morale of a strong army, and then you finish them with your uh, Teutonic Knights or with other cavalry. Number three is for me the speed the cavalry. Also, you may remember that every army type is also the six levels of strength from one, two, three, four, five, and six. So speed cavalry is, uh, let's see if I can find it, it's a level 5. It's a total score of 217, an attack of 122, and a defense of 95. So both are slightly below the other two units we just reviewed. Mobility of 11, charge is also slightly lower than 25%. He has a benefit of counter attack plus 5% when the health is below 50%. Very complex. Metric, not very useful, I think. Number four is the Knights Hospitaller. So this unit, I remember, this is a Charlemagne unit, especially, but it's not that great. It's only fourth, in my view. And also in terms of score, it's a score of 206, which is 25 points less than the Teutonic Knights, with an attack of 121 and a defense of 85, so not very strong defense. Their charge is at 35%, and uh, he has a special benefit that the nearby units recover 5% health for each turn. Number five, this is a regular unit, is the Heavy Guard Cavalry. It has a, a total score of 202 and an attack score of 117. He has just a charge of 15%, and no special skills, because he's a regular unit. The mercenary have additional skills in general. At the sixth spot, I place the War Axe Cavalry, also by memory. This also is a unit that amplifies the damage of an elite general. It's, uh, let me find it. There you go. What acts? Uh, total score of 183, an attack score of 108. Similar, a 50% charge bonus. And uh, it has an additional damage to cavalry of 10%. 
every single melee cavalry have in general the 15% damage to range infantry in 15% reduction of damage from range infantry. It's strange that for this type of unit, they all have the same. Normally in infantry we saw that the level of damage is different between the, the, type, the, the, the units. Number seven, Camel Riders, 181 point, 101 in attack and 80 in defense. He has also a charge bonus of 15%. He has the one benefit, the lowering the enemy morale, 10 points after charge. So not as much, big as the elephants, but still a decent impact. And the number eight is another regular unit, the Squire Cavalry. The combined attack defense score of 174, an attack of 99, and defense of 75. No special skill. And then the last two are just uh, regular units the light cavalry with uh, a combined 142 and 77 in attack, and the scout. The scout cavalry is so poor that England does not even have it. Stable. A score of 118 and attack of 63. So that's unfortunate when you start the game, you get scout and light cavalry, that's all. So that's a bit limiting. Moving to the uh, charge cavalry. Let's start from the mercenary. At the number one, this is the best unit in the game. I already told you in the general review that Richard I is the best general in the game, despite some other viewers disagree, but that is the best by far than anyone else. And Richard carries Knights Templar. There you go. Knights Templar have the highest score across every unit type. Score of 285, which is 104 in attack, that is also the highest attack score, and a defense of 145, highest defense score. The guy is a money machine. It's worth every, do every dollar you spend. He has also a charge bonus of 75%, also the highest charge bonus in the game. He has, as an extra skill, the damage from range infantry, 20% less and also nearby units get an extra damage of 5%. I don't know what else do you want. Sometimes when you see him in my gameplay in attack, sometimes he has a damage of 1,000 points. So he's really unique, this guy. Trust me, spend the money. This is the best general in the game. Then, the number two, I put this very peculiar unit, the Winged Cavalry, this is a level six. The Wing Cavalry is uh, 34 points below the Knights Templar with an attack of 131 and defense of 120. He has also a charge bonus of 65%, which is still very high. And uh, he has a couple of interesting skills, never surrender, and when the mobility after attack is more than 5 points, it, it gets another damage of 10%. Very. Number three, Noble Cavalry. The Noble Cavalry has a combined score, the same as the Wing Cavalry, of 251, with a slightly less attack, so the difference between two and three is very tiny, although Wing Cavalry is a level six and Noble level five, keep in mind. The charge bonus is only 50% versus 65 for the previous. He has the same skill when mobility left more than 5 is a damage of 10%, and it boosts morale plus 1 point in every turn, which I think is less important than never surrender. That was, for me, a deciding factor to rank them. Number 4, the Royal Cavalry. That's a straight unit. England doesn't have it. 
not easy to find it like this. I apologize if you wait. Royal Cavalry, 232 points. Imagine, by the way, without this guide, how much time you would have spent looking for them. So at least you get them in one shot. And they have an attack of 122 and a defense of 110 with a bonus charge of 45%. At the fifth, I put another mercenary army, the heavy armor cavalry. If I find them. It's a level four unit. He has 218 points in attack plus defense in an attack of 113. Charge bonus of 50%. And has a charge rate of plus 20% and a damage of plus 10, which is also an interesting uh, uh, benefit. So not bad, even if it's fifth rank. And then number six, the Norman Knights, also level four, with an attack of two, uh, combined attack defense of 208 and attack of 108. A charge bonus of 35% and attacking multiple units with a damage of plus 5. At 7, I put another regular unit, the Heavy Knights. The Heavy Knights have a score of 194, which is an average score with an attack of 104. A charge bonus of 35%, no other skills. Number eight, Heavy Lance Cavalry. <clears throat> attack defense score of 175 and attack on 90 with a defense of 85. A charge bonus of 45% and attacking multiple units damage plus five as well. And number and the last two, number 9 and 10, are the Feudal Knights. It's a level 3. Since the arm is much weaker. He has 161 points with an 86 in attack. And then the most basic one is the Light Lance Cavalry, which has 137 points and a 72 in attack. That concludes our quick review of uh, cavalry. It's 20 units altogether between melee and charge. Overall, I can say that the charge cavalry has the highest uh, score of all the army types, which makes me think that if you need to prioritize where to upgrade, where to invest, in both in terms of general and in terms of unit, charge cavalry for me is number one. And that's a signature of all the easy tech games where cavalry or tanks are always the strongest units. Um, just to give you a sense, if the average of the combined score for all the cavalry is 200, and the average of all the archery is 128, and the average of all the infantry is 168. See, I don't like, there are many people in the forum that they throw comments, judgment out of thin air. I like to make a statement based on numbers. So if the average score of a cavalry is 200, and infantry 168, and archery 128, to me, cavalry is a superior unit, and therefore your limited budget should be invested heavily on cavalry. So get a couple of strong cavalry generals, if you want to spend some money, you buy a Richard. Don't listen to anyone else. Buy Richard, and you get 30, 30 uh, temp Knight Templars free as part of the package, and get another big cavalry general. While range is the weakest unit of all, of course, it's not just a matter of total points. There are different uh, situations in the battle where the various units are useful. You cannot have only cavalry. You need to have also range. You need to have also infantry. But just allocate your resources smartly, putting more resources on cavalry and less on archery. 
and intermediate and infant. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Click like if you like it. And if you haven't done it, subscribe to my channel. Take care.